Brew Bird. I'm a professional distiller and a trained brewer. Have you ever opened a can of beer and found that it tasted like wet cardboard? Or perhaps it tasted skunky or it was cloyingly sweet when it wasn't supposed to be? In this video, we're going to talk about some common off flavors in beer and how they come about. So let's get to it! If you've drank beer that tastes like stale, old, or wet cardboard, it's probably because your beer has been oxidized, or in other words, it's been exposed to oxygen. Oxygen negatively reacts with molecules in the beer and creates stale, cardboard-like flavors. There's only one instance where oxygen is desired in beer production, and that's at the very start of fermentation when you're adding in the yeast. So when you're adding in the yeast, you'll also add in a controlled amount of oxygen and the oxygen helps ensure that the yeast grows healthily and it reproduces. Other than this instance, we try to keep oxygen out of our beer production since it can result in beer that tastes like wet cardboard. We often get this unwanted oxidation in bottled beer when the cap on the bottle isn't screwed on tightly enough. We can get oxygen entering the bottle. Too much headspace in the bottle, which is the space between the liquid and bottle cap, can also lead to oxidation. Beer that's old and has been stored for a long time is also more prone to oxidation. Brewers will sometimes buy oxygen scavenging bottle caps to prevent oxidation. These are caps that can scavenge or remove any oxygen from the beer to keep it fresh for longer. Another common place where oxidation occurs is after boiling the wort. And wort is what we call the beer before fermentation starts. So when we're making beer, there's a step where we boil the wort to kill off bacteria in it. Boiling also helps to remove any dissolved oxygen that's in the wort, as any dissolved oxygen will be forced out of the boiling liquid. So after we boil the wort and remove the oxygen from it, we want to quickly cool the wort down. This warm wort can absorb oxygen much more easily than cold wort can. So we want to cool the wort down as quickly as we can in order to prevent oxidation. This introduction of oxygen in the form of air into hot wort anywhere in the brewing process before fermentation is known as hot side aeration. If you've ever had beer that tasted a little skunky or like cat pee, it's probably because the hops in the beer have been exposed to light. And hops are the main flavoring agent in beer and they're responsible for bitterness and the aroma and taste in beer. When hops are exposed to UV rays through sunlight or through fluorescent lighting, the alpha acids inside the hops will break down and react with sulfur-containing compounds to produce MBT, which stands for 3-methyl-2-butene-1-thiol, which is responsible for the skunky cat pee aroma. In fact, Thiol compounds happen to be one of the major components found in skunk spray. It's for this reason that brewers will avoid fermenting their beer in clear containers, since that would expose the beer to direct light and cause the beer to taste skunky. It's also the reason most beer bottles are brown in color. Brown beer bottles will filter out most UV rays, which will prevent the beer from getting light struck and skunky. Of course, beer is best protected when stored in aluminum cans or beer kegs. So you might be wondering, if brown beer bottles keep beer from tasting skunky, why do some companies sell their beer in clear and green bottles? I'm looking at you, Corona, Stella Artois, and Heineken. Green and clear bottles don't filter out UV light, which means beer gets skunky tasting. Part of the reasons companies continue to package beer in these kinds of bottles is because of marketing. If everyone else is selling beer in brown bottles, it's easier to stand out on shelves if the color of the bottle is different. 
Another reason is that some people like a little skunky taste in their beer and have associated that flavor with their favorite beer brand. While a little bit of sweetness is usually desired in most beers, if a beer smells and tastes overly sweet and sugary, it's probably a sign that something went wrong when the beer was fermenting. During beer fermentation, the yeast is responsible for converting the sugars into alcohol. However, sometimes the yeast can quit working, which results in a stuck fermentation where we're left with too many sugars and not the expected amount of alcohol. Stuck fermentations can happen when the brewer chooses the wrong type of yeast. So for example, if the wort has a very, very high sugar concentration, then this can make it difficult for some types of yeast to survive in it because the wort is so dense. Using the correct type and amount of yeast and having the right fermentation temperature will all help prevent stuck fermentations. If you've had the unfortunate experience of drinking moldy or mildew tasting beer, it's probably because the grains, hops, or extracts used to brew the beer had mold growing on them, and nobody noticed and used them to make your beer anyways. Gross. When storing grains and hops, it's important to store them away from warm, humid areas. If mold grows on your beer ingredients, these flavors will unsurprisingly be passed on to your beer as well. I hope you enjoyed learning about some common off flavors in beer, which were overly sweet, wet cardboard, skunky, and moldy. If you'd like to support the channel, please give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Please hit the subscribe button for more videos about drinks, distilling, and brewing. This is Brewbird, sending good vibes your way. I'll see you next time.